even in Yorkshire, it does make sense to get solar panels. But given what's going on at the moment with electricity prices, they're going down, which ultimately is a good thing. Does that mean that the export tariff is about to follow? After recently seeing online a business tariff going from 15 to 8 pence per kilowatt hour for export, is that somewhere that we're heading as well in terms of the export tariff that you can get from a residential point of view? Logically, that would make sense because, well, the price of electricity comes down, so the price you're going to get paid for exporting it will realistically also come down. Well, we might as well uh, make the most of it for the week that it's here. But during the last month or so, I've effectively, if I take EV charging out of the equation anyway, I've been paid on more days than not for electricity. Essentially, I've been paid rather than paying my electricity provider. Now, yes, I'm picking the best month of the year and so forth, so this isn't normal, but ultimately, that's partly because of the tariff I'm on. And there's a billion tariffs out there, there's lots of different variables to consider. So, generically speaking, it's quite difficult to do this. Ultimately, though, I pay 7p at night and I get paid 15 pence for export. So, I can do all my cheap charging, I can charge up my battery at night and export during the day everything in terms of the solar panels. I don't want to use, I don't want to have a solar divert into an immersion here. That's bonkers from a financial point of view, anyway. I want to export as much as possible. But if we go back a couple of years, that wasn't the case because I think I was on four and a half pence per kilowatt hour or, or around that. And even though electricity was, I think, five to seven P for the import, it, it, it didn't make sense to, to export it. Using it was better than exporting. Are we going back to that? Are we gonna flip it around again and find that using is financially better at least? than exporting. I should point out, I do not know this for a fact. I have no industry contacts or anything like this. It's just, well, we were at what, 35 pence-ish, just a, what, a year or two ago for the price of electricity to buy. Now we're at 22-ish. You're not gonna get paid the same amount of export with a substantial dive in terms of percentages anyway. Oh, well, look, it's just gone behind that single cloud. Of course it is. God damn chemtrails. But either way, it's something which I think we've got to accept. To get cheaper electricity, you get worse export. And all the signs are pointing to this. Again, the business tariff that I found online that have announced they're going from 15 to 8p. I'll keep it generic again in terms of the companies involved. But ultimately, it's, it's time to fix if that's a possibility. It is for me on my tariff. I'm on a fixed export rate. It actually expires in September, so I think I can actually renew mine now, you know, like a month before, which means I get 12 months at 15p. It's a bit of a gamble. There's not a guarantee that it's going to go down, but logically speaking, in my head, it's only going to go one way at the moment. Is now a good time to fix, if this is something that you have access to anyway? In winter, we want cheap electricity, because certainly for me anyway, the solar panels are doing next to nothing during the time when I need the most electricity, especially with a heat pump, we're full electric. So we need to, well, think about what's best for each time of year. Tariffs aren't just, this is the cheapest for me, it's well, which is the cheapest in summer, which is the cheapest in winter. I tend to keep mine nice and easy and just stay on the same one that's kind of in the middle ground all year round. I'm, I'm not a tariff tip. Tariff chaser. I'm not a tariff chaser where I keep jumping every few months to the best one. But for the export tariff, again, it, it's 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 a big part of it. Going from 15p to 8p as the business tariff has done. That's well. Let's face it. It's practically halving it. And although it still makes sense to export the news, it's virtually no difference now. Yeah, I, I, there's too many variables to, 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 for me to recommend anything, and I'm not doing that. I'm saying maybe it's time to look at your tariffs, the import, the export, whatever you're on. And I imagine if you're watching this and you've got solar panels, you're probably on a smart tariff where you've got a cheaper nighttime rate. Not everybody will be, of course, because that usually requires an EV. 
But whatever you're on, maybe it's time to just think, hmm, is my export fixed? Can I fix it? Is it worth fixing it? I think the discussion needs to be had. In my situation, the fact it's expiring in September anyway means I think I'm, well, I'm going to <laughs> fix it anyway because I have to, but ultimately I think it's a good time to do so. I don't know if I was halfway through this year whether or not I could fix it again, whether or not you're allowed to. With some companies, it seems to be whoever you get on the phone at the time or whoever answers the emails, but you never know, for the sake of an email, it might be worth it. And that's it, really. That's all I wanted to say. The import tariffs, a lot of people concentrate on because, well, that's the, that's the big one, isn't it? Especially in winter, especially if you're charging EVs, even with gas, getting on the right tariff can save you hundreds of pounds a year just by, well, sending an email off. The export tariff, though, tends to get forgotten about. This is partly why I'm doing this video because, well, I'm getting paid for it, it's brilliant. Oh, they've put it up, brilliant. They'll put it down again. So the longer you can export, uh, fix it for, the better. Like the tax, the electric car tax, it's going from zero to 140, 80 pounds in April. So renewing your car tax in March makes a lot of sense because you'll get another 12 months at zero pounds. That's effectively what we're doing here. We're fixing it. I might be completely wrong. What do you think? Is the export tariff going to drop? Is it going to stay the same? The fact that business tariff have al has already dropped, for me, points in a direction, but again, it's not a guarantee. So what do you think? That's essentially what I'm going to use the comment section for in this particular video. I'm not necessarily saying go out and fix it. I think it'll be a safe bet, in my opinion, but I think we need to pool our resources on this one and, and just, you know, cobble together everything that we've found out. What are you doing? What do you think you should do? Have you even looked into this? Do you export enough for it to be a problem? Obviously, anyone on fit is gonna be laughing, but if you're in the same position where you're just on a standard export tariff, what has your research told you? Let, let's, let's get the comment section kind of a bit of a research model and say, well, this is what I found, this is what I found, and everyone's different. There's not gonna be a one size fits all, but maybe it, will, it should be worth looking at when your rate changes. I'm now going to enjoy this sunshine by editing videos inside. <laughs> it's the life of a YouTuber. Tomorrow thunderstorms, but today let's pretend it's normal and we'll use these cheap outdoor seats for the three days of the year that we got them for. Mm. Cheers. Oh, like, subscribe and all that sort of stuff as well. Yeah.